Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know what? All right, so I had to ask you, man, off the bat. Growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Man, Ken Griffey Jr. and Derek Jeter. Those were my two guys, you know. Uh, being a left-handed hitting outfielder, Griffey was my guy to look at the whole time watching his swing, probably the sweetest swing in baseball. And then uh, growing up in the Northeast, you know, Derek Jeter was a guy. So, you know, in my opinion, no one handled the professional aspect of things better than Jeter. I like that. So I always do this question, and I think you pretty much answered your Mount Rushmore question that I'm about to ask you, but if you did one catcher, one infielder, one outfielder, one pitcher, for the Mount Rushmore. I think you pretty much asked your infielder and outfielder. Yep, so we got infielder, outfielder right there. Catcher, well, I gotta go Yachty, man. Not too many guys better than Yachty. Pudge is right there too, though. Um, and then for a pitcher, you gotta go Nolan Ryan, right? Okay. No one's beating Nolan Ryan. I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. So, you know, coming to the Rangers, man, this team obviously has changed completely compared to what they were last year. Coming to the team, what do you see in the potential of this team? I see a lot of guys who are developing. You know, I think last year they had a young guy, a lot of young guys coming up. And for me, you know, uh, what CY, what Bochy, what the front office did to go out and get some starting pitching and spend some money is huge. You know, uh, Seeger's obviously a lot more comfortable being around the team for his second year. So to me, the sky's the limit. You know, I think we got a good group of guys personality wise. The chemistry's there. So um, you got chemistry and talent, you can go a long way. All right, so the other day, man, versus the Cubs, opportunities came. And it seems like a lot of guys just, they know when to step up. And I think that's huge for you, just knowing when you get that call or get that moment. Being ready, how do you get yourself ready for that? Yeah, to me, I show up and I'm ready to play every day. You know, I act like I'm starting every day, do my report at home, do some more stuff when I get to the field, because personally, it's easier for me to turn it off and turn it on. Um, so yeah, you know, first five, six games, didn't get a start. Um, some things changed, got a start, and made the most of the opportunity. So hopefully I can keep this going. I love it, I love it. So. I'm a gamer and I gotta ask you, man, the first time you saw yourself on a video game, obviously it's probably MLB the show, obviously. What did you think? Um, it was kind of incredible how well they did the hair, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> it was, it was it's kind of crazy how much they, uh, you know, really personalized you. So it was really cool. Uh, unfortunately, I got, well, not unfortunately, but I got three kids now, so I can't really, uh, don't have too much time for games. I'm occupied keeping them busy. So I haven't gamed in probably four or five years, so. Hopefully they're keeping up with the personality well. I like it, I like it. So back to this team, just a few more questions. So when you see Evaldi get size, right, you see DeGrom, the pitching staff, man, the potential of this pitch staff is huge. What have you seen from Jacob DeGrom? I'm pretty sure you faced him, but what have you seen from him? You're like, oh my God, this guy is everything. He locates, you know, his stuff is electric, you know, throwing 99 to 100, slider at 93, but he locates, you know. And as far as in the clubhouse, you know, he's an awesome guy and he's very detailed about his work. He doesn't just go through the motions with anything. He's out there working every day, trying to get better. And to see, you know, arguably the greatest pitcher in the game right now work as hard as he does is, is eye-opening for everyone. I like that, I like that, I like that. So I do this thing with the walk-up music right now. I know you know Edwin Diaz has his little theme and everything. Certain players do their things. But I just said there's a song named after you. You can pick any artist, dead or alive, to do your song. It is named after you, and that's your walk-up song when you go to the play. Say it's going to be on the World Series, Game 7, and you want everybody to hear this song. It's named after you. Dead or alive, what artist do you want to do that song Oh, for? my God. Yeah. I asked for easy questions. Uh, I'm probably going to pick Jason Aldean. I don't know. I feel like I'm a country guy. I feel like he can get the crowd going, so I'll go Jason Aldean. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Last question. So the WBC. I'm pretty sure you had a chance to watch that and you were like, man, it was just great to see it. But you're going to be facing two guys that were on the same team and I'm pretty sure you saw that moment, Shohei and Trout. To see two of the best players that I've ever on the same team, two of what many people deem as the best players, what was your thought, man, and just seeing how that was huge for baseball? Yeah, I mean, that was probably as poetic as you can get, right? Two of the arguably the best players in the game right now going head-to-head -head in a championship game. Um, uh, you couldn't have written a better story, you know. It was one of those things that it just all came together. And, you know, the WBC, what, what came out of that this year is one of the things that's going to grow this game and continue to grow this game. Well, man, congratulations on everything. We'll be talking soon, man, and good luck the rest of the season, man. Thanks, baby. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay.